It has been a turbulent few years for our educators. This has led to hundreds of vacancies and retirements. So today, in fact, more than 140 retiring teachers were honored for their commitment to education. As Kate Houston reports, they're encouraging current teachers as they work through issues highlighted by the pandemic. I love teaching. And I just knew that when it was time for me to have another adventure, I would know. Connie McFarland is closing out a storied career spanning 50 years in education. She received the Lifetime Achievement Award from her peers. I had many, many different kinds of environments, of different ages of students, of different kinds of jobs, so that there was always a sense of newness, of excitement. There were 621 retirements within CCSD in the last school year. McFarland says expectations of teachers has changed and they're dealing with more responsibilities than ever before. We have to keep the community aware of what is needed. More money is needed. Smaller classes is needed. National Teacher of the Year Juliana Ortebe was on hand to thank the retirees. Without the teachers holding classrooms together, giving kids normalcy, dependability, routine, and that instruction and that love, where would we be? Ortebe says she's committed to advocating for teachers and ensure that they get what they need to thrive. Things like great health care, equitable pay for our expertise, all those things are in the making, and I'm really hopeful that they're coming. Kate Houston, live local now. Right now, there are 859 teacher vacancies. That number a bit higher than normal due to count day. CCSD says that number will fluctuate over the next month as they move positions around all based on enrollment.